hello everyone in this video i will tell you about array this topic is included in the bca and msciit program here i shall discuss first about what is array why array is needed in any programming language then initialization and declaration of array different types of array and all first i will show you the theory part by using smart board and then uh, I will uh, show you the practical part in my laptop. So the learners are requested to be prepared by installing the Turbo C++ in their laptop or desktop. Because uh, the simply listening the lecture is not sufficient, you have to practice at the same time. So now the topic is divided into four sections. Uh, they are the introduction of array, then initialization and declaration of array. Then uh, in the second part, uh, we will discuss the types of array that is one dimensional and two dimensional or multidimensional array. So first let us see the objectives of this uh, chapter. The four objectives are there. One is uh, uh, after this unit, uh, uh, you will be able to know the, the, what is array. So first one is this and the second one, uh, you will be able to declare and initialize an array. Then uh, uh, we shall uh, discuss how to create and access a one-dimensional and two-dimensional or multi-dimensional array. Then uh, let us see what is array. So first uh, array is a collection of similar data types. Uh, I think everybody know about the basic data types which are used in the programming language. Uh, actually basically there are uh, four data types. One is integer data type character, floating point and other one is the double. So these are the four data types. And uh, for this array, array is a collection of similar data types. That means uh, in an array, uh, we cannot store one integer, one floating point, one character like this. If we create an array, it can store only the integers data type or uh, if the array is a character, it can store the character data types like that. So next one is the, what is array, it can, the array can be defined as a finite order and collection of homogeneous elements. So first is what is finite, finite means uh, the array can uh, store a fixed number of elements. That is uh, finite, it cannot, uh, suppose an array cannot store an infinite number of elements, it, the number, the size of the array uh, is uh, fixed. Next is ordered. Ordered means the elements uh, are stored in the array in a contiguous memory locations. That means in computer memory, arrays are uh, the elements of the array stored in the linear way. Okay, means uh, the, uh, in the memory, we cannot uh, store the array in a scattered form. So, it is called the ordered collection or it is in the ordered way. Uh, elements are stored in the ordered way and next is the homogeneous elements homogeneous means the uh, same data items same types that is if it is integer all the elements should be integer that are stored in a contiguous memory locations next uh, it is a group of contiguous memory locations that have the same name and type Okay, that means uh, the if the array is variable, uh, the name of the variable is same for all the elements in the array. So next is the type of data items in an array, maybe character, integer or float. And the elements of the array share the same variable name. So uh, if the, uh, if we can uh, say that the uh, create an array of the variable name, uh, suppose integer array variable name a okay so uh, if uh, array is defined like this uh, we shall discuss later so all the elements in the array uh, are uh, use this variable name a okay so elements of the array share the same variable name so all the elements in the array use this uh, variable name a then uh, let us check one example of the array uh, suppose A is a integer array. That means it stores the integer data types. 
and uh, it contains 10 elements. So, how we define array? Uh, it is uh, A0 up to A9. One thing it is important to uh, remember here that our array always starts with a position 0. That means it is starts the first position of the array is always starts from 0. So, if it is contains 10 elements, then how many uh, the positions will be from 0 to 9. Okay. And the elements of the array A referred by giving the name of the array followed by the position number. Position means uh, uh, what position the element is there. Suppose a array, this is a array. Uh, it uh, elements are stored here. So, how many elements? It contains 10 elements. So, like this here. So, first position. So, this position is A0 and next one is the A1. So, like that it goes. So, uh, first the elements of the array A is referred by a given name of the array followed by the position. So, this 0 is the position. Which position? The first element. This is the first element. So, 0 is means the first position of the array. Suppose of in the first position it contains the number 2. The element is true. It is in the first position where it in the array name A. Clear? Then the first element in every array is the 0th element. Already discussed. Always the first position is A0. Then the uh, elements of the array A is referred as a second element is A1. Okay. And uh, if total number of elements is 10, so the last position will be 9. That means the ith element of array is referred as a a i minus 1. So, i may be any one maximum number of elements that contains in the array that is the i. And the position number in the square bracket, uh, the position we always symbolize as a square bracket and that number is known as the index or subscript and the index is always an integer you, we cannot uh, given a float number floating point number uh, i think uh, you everybody know uh, what the difference between floating point and integer so integer uh, means uh, the number which uh, does not have the decimal point that is the integer and float uh, floating point means the number which cons consists the decimal point so uh, the index that means the position of the element cannot be a floating point or character or else it must be an integer or an integer expression. Next we shall discuss some terminologies uh, which is associated with the array. So first terminology is the size. Size is the, the number of elements. How many numbers are there in an array? That is called the size. And next is the type. Already we have discussed what type of data are stored in the array. Okay, that is the type. It may be integer, it may be character, floating like that. And next important thing is one is base. What is base? So base is the address, address of the first element in an array. And uh, next is the index. Index is an integer value which gives the position of an element of an array. So, position of the element in an array and AI it is denoted as AI where A is the name of the array and I is the subscript or index. Then uh, since the array element are identified by using an index, so array is also called a index or subscript variable. And uh, let us check one example. Uh, it will be easier for you if you see this example. Suppose this is an array of name A. So, A is the name of the array and the subscript is the, uh, this uh, one is the uh, index or subscript and uh, the address first memory locations that means uh, when we uh, define an array then what happened it stores some space in the computer memory. So, here the first address in the computer memory is specified as 600 clear. 
so next element, uh, element is stored in the 602 uh, here i want to uh, tell you that uh, the integer type uh, data uh, for short integer type data it uh, takes the occupy the size as 2 bytes i think uh, previously everybody uh, learned this uh, this one that is integer type data the size of the integer type is uh, integer type is a 2 bytes 2 bytes for short integer or it may be 4 bytes 4 bytes means uh, uh, for uh, if the compiler is a 60, uh, 32 bits then uh, the size of the integer uh, uh, type data will be 4 bytes. Then uh, float float uh, data is a 4 bytes then character data types is a 1 byte so uh, and double double data types means um, the, when the numeric value is a very long means large values are there it may be a float floating point or integer type so double data type say, uh, size is the 8 byte so these are the uh, size of uh, integers different data types so here since uh, uh, the, this is the integer type so it is stores 2 bytes so here 600 so next uh, uh, address of the next element will be 602 then again next is 604 so like that and the last address of the last element is 618 and these are the elements what are the elements here first element is 10 uh, second element is 12 like that and the last element is 89 so these are the element so uh, here in the introduction of the array what we have discussed first we uh, came to know that what is array array is the collection of similar data type next we uh, came to know the some terminologies associated with the array so first we uh, learned that the type of the array size of the array index and base now array declaration and initialization so uh, when we declare the array declaration can be done in various ways and uh, usually we uh, declare an array or initialize an array in the beginning of the program so uh, how we declare an array uh, we for to declare an array first we have to specify the data types S means the what type of data are stored in that array next we have to specify the name of the array that means the variable name the variable is array type variable and what is the name of the variable and then we have to specify the size of the uh, array uh, which is uh, sp have to specify inside the square bracket then the, what is the syntax first is the array uh, data type it may integer character float like that and then the name of the array then the size of the array and the size is uh, within the square bracket so uh, let us check one example to declare an array by specifying uh, size in the uh, declaration then uh, how we uh, write the steps first is integer data types then array variable and then the size it means it is the five size means maximum five elements can be stored and then if it is a character array so character c h a r we have to write c h a r then array and the size size is 10 and uh, next another uh, declaration way which is uh, specify user defined size that means we can um, uh, specify the size uh, in the runtime in the runtime of the program so uh, first we uh, specify we initialize an variable that is called size so size is a variable which is integer type and we have defined as a uh, 20 20 is the value of the size then uh, here next we write the integer array size means array is the variable name and size means uh, it takes a value 20 okay so these are the uh, steps uh, different way to declare an array next another way uh, an array uh, without allocating the uh, yes if we uh, are not specify the size of an array then what happened some uh, garbage value it takes some garbage value uh, in uh, in the size uh, data then uh, there may be some uh, error in the program so uh, we have to specify the size of the array in a program next we shall discuss why we need an array uh, first uh, uh, suppose if we have uh, some uh, small variables suppose three variables then we can uh, define it 
the three variables suppose variable a b or c okay uh, suppose uh, we have uh, integer suppose variable n1 we can define uh, it is an array of size sub 5 then uh, integer n2 this is one array of uh, 10 size or integer n3 so this is one array now if we have uh, more variables suppose 50 100 if we have uh, more variables then how we can define we have to write uh, 50 times integer n1 integer n2 integer n3 like that so it is not possible so in that case we can use the array okay uh, let us see one example why we need an array suppose uh, there is a cricket match has been organized between two teams a and b clear so and uh, in uh, we need to record the scores of team a so uh, how many players there are 11 players so we can uh, integer score uh, suppose variable name is bat underscore or uh, score one okay so this uh, variable stores the uh, uh, run of the first uh, cricket team player then we can define uh, up to 10 numbers of players so we can write integer uh, bats uh, score 2 3 4 up to uh, 11 players so 11 variables so it is uh, uh, very easy but if we want to store uh, the variables that that is run of the uh, whole match Suppose there are uh, three teams, so for three teams we have to store the runs for all the team members. So how many variables are required? Thirty-three variables are required. So uh, in in that case we have to use an array. How we use? Uh, suppose team A, team B, and team C. These are the three variables, and we give the size as eleven. So uh, eleven players. So we can define is the as a array. So uh, to define a large number of uh, data, the large number of variables, we use the array. Next, array initialization. How we initialize an array? Uh, initialization process, generally, uh, what is initialization? We assign the values in the array. Then initialization, we give, uh, similar to the uh, declaration, we give first the data types, then variable name, array name of the array, and then the size. And one more thing we have to give in the initialization that is the uh, values of the data elements which is uh, within a braces this curly brackets is used so uh, the syntax is the integer that is data type then variable name my array this is the uh, name of the array variable then size size is uh, inside a square bracket then other uh, the elements we have defined suppose size is 5 so 5 values are there so this is the uh, statement to initialize an array this is the integer type a is a variable 5 is the size then what are the 5 si uh, uh, 0 uh, sorry 1 2 3 4 5 that means what in position a 0 the first position already we have discussed the first position is specified as a 0 so a0 contains the value 1 a1 second position value is 2 so like that the last one is the fourth position value is the 5 so this is about array initialization yes here we have given here there are five elements uh, means size is five so the positions and the values elements of the array and an array can be also uh, initialized by using a loop so loop there are generally use uh, three loops one is uh, for loop do and uh, while these are the loops are used uh, this is an example of for loop so how we write uh, uh, first we declare an array uh, that is integer array size is five a r r is the variable name then for loop is what uh, for i equal to i is a uh, how do we use the for loop suppose i is a integer variable so integer i i equal to 0 means uh, first initial value is i is 0 
then maximum size is uh, 5 so i less than 5 i i plus plus first array that means i is 0 so array 0 is what 2 into i that means 2 into i is 0 so what is the value it is 0 first then again it checks it trans transfers i plus plus that means next value is 1 so second case array next value is 1 so 2 into 1 equal to 2 so first is 0 then it stores the 2 so like that plus plus means up to uh, it will check the array is uh, next value of array is 2 it is less than 5 so again a2 equal to 2 into 2 so the third value is 4 like that so what are the values ultimately array contains 0 2 4 6 and 8 next how uh, process processing with an array okay so now here uh, what is there uh, this integer type array it contains the uh, uh, five values 10 20 30 37 and 40 so we have defined uh, the arrays are stored like that way except these values what function is used it is scan f function is used you remember the scan f function is used to accept the values in an array and it is uh, statement is written as uh, in uh, this is percentage d d is used for the integer type variables and uh, for c is used for the character and string is used for uh, s like that as well it will be different depends on the uh, type of the uh, means uh, what type of elements are stored in the array then m person a0 this is the symbol it is used in the uh, scanf function and by this statement we can take the value we can accept the first value that means a0 a0 value it takes the values and uh, another function it is a printf printf means it is uh, used to uh, print means uh, give the value in the output by using the printf statement we get the value so uh, this statement uh, will be printed the value of the first element so a0 and uh, for uh, character type we have to use s s or uh, c means character type means uh, the variable may be a, a to z 0 to 9 like that and uh, only in one character is stored in one position in the array next uh, i string is a what is a string uh, a string is a collection of characters it means more than one characters and which are uh, treated as a single data items and uh, at the end of the string uh, we have to use a this uh, symbol that means null it is specified as a null character suppose uh, character we gave an example uh, india is great so here we have not defined the size in the above declaration uh, it is a dynamically al dynamic allocation of the array which is name is s and uh, this uh, first is i i is a single character it is stored in the s0 position then s1 n india and there is a blank that is s5 is a blank because uh, there is another word is there so is uh, these are the positions of the array this s14 should be here that is a null character so this is the declaration for the uh, character type array so in this uh, video what we have uh, understood that the how we declare and initialize an array we use generally scanf to accept the values in the program and uh, printf statement is used to give the output means uh, to print the value in the element in the next we shall discuss the one dimensional array